All right, Joe Dubin is here and uh, some sports. And i got to say, this is going to be a rather unique uh, sportscast. Well, right. Alan, here's the deal. Even though the MTSU game is over, the games in that session in Milwaukee are still going on. So we are right. not allowed to show you traditional highlights. But we got you covered anyway. Ready for this? All right, here we go. <laughs> Time to break out the stick figures to show you what happened in the game. First half, Raiders get on the board. Two minutes in with Ja'Cory Harris. Makes a nice spin move in the lane. Butler up 4-2, oh. to two, all right? The middle down 11, but Quavius Copeland is going to nail a three-pointer from the corner. That makes it Butler 30, MTSU 22. Then two minutes in the first, it's a senior Reggie Upshaw with a three from the corner as well. That'll cut Butler's lead to five points, Allen. Second half. Middle hanging tough. This is why Antoine Johnson with the alley-oop to Brandon Walters. Yes. You can see it there. The pass. And then the alley-oop gets it in there. Butler's still up by eight. Then it'll be Antoine Johnson again. 420 left in the game. Hits a big-time three-pointer. That'll pull MTSU within five. Right there. You can see it. 59-54. But Allen... Sadly, uh, Butler wins. They take it over MTSU 74 to 65, but man, what a year. Yeah, well, first of all, I can't, you know, express, as I told our guys in the locker room, how much fun that they brought the Middle Tennessee fans and myself personally, uh, how they represented us. You know, 31 wins is an unbelievable feat. I know we're all heartbroken. We wanted to get back to our home state in Memphis and play in the Sweet 16. You know, he addressed the team and told us how he was proud of, you know, what we've done over the over the last year. And, um, you know, after that, you know, everybody was kind of, you know, upset with how we played and, you know, that we didn't make it back to the to Memphis to, um, you know, play in front of our home state and our, our home fans. Middle, fin middle finished the season at 31 and 5. The biggest upset of the tourney so far, which destroyed a lot of brackets. Number one overall seed, Villanova. They got bounced out on Saturday, losing to eighth seed of Wisconsin. The defending national champs fall 65 to 62. The Badgers moving on into the Sweet 16. Over to the women's side of the tournament, and although the regular season didn't go the way the Lady Vols wanted, they still made it to the tourney as a number five seed. As we all know, it's what you do in the tournament they remember you for. All right, let's go. The Lady Vols taking on Dayton in the first round. They're up eight in the second quarter. Shaquilla Nunn will make it ten, gets a drive, gets the basket, drives the lane, puts it in. Third quarter, Lady Vols only up one. Here's Diamond to Shields with the ball. She'll drive and stop and pop, puts her Lady Vols up by three. She is so good. Then it'll be the Shields again on the transition. Here she comes. She'll start with the top. Nails the bucket. Lady Vols up by six. Dayton gave Lady Vols a handful, but too much diamond to shields. Lady Vols take it. 66 to 57. They'll play Louisville Monday night. And the State High School Boys Tournament going down in Murfreesboro. Class 2A game between Maplewood and Knoxville Catholic. This was the Bo Hodges show. The ETHU bound senior put the team on his back. Maplewood becomes the first Metro Public School in 21 years to win the state title. 60 to 57. Congrats to head coach Ty Wilson and his Panther team. I just want to first want to say happy birthday to my daughter, Torin. Uh, couldn't make it to a birthday party, but this is why I was here. And uh, it means a lot. It means a lot for the city of Nashville. It just means a lot for, for Makewood, our administrative, administrative team. It just means a lot. These kids work their tail off all year, so the reward was the gold ball. MLK was the last school to win a title for Metro back in 1996. Way to go, guys. We'll be right back.